Hello guys and welcome back to FDL part 3 here. So just leaving off exactly where we left off before, middle of this electrical storm nebula. And okay, so let's just send everyone back to where they should be. Life support I believe should be coming back online. Yes it is. But we pretty much need to get out of here as soon as possible because um Okay, why oh I've, whoops. Derp, I did not send any power to the engines, of course we can't jump. Okay, so let's leave this nebula. Let's get our systems back online. Hopefully there won't be any enemies. Okay, there is. Okay, so I'm going to have to pause it back, back up again. Or we'll unpause it, rather. So let's get our hull laser. So it does extra damage to systemless rooms. So what I'm going to do... They don't actually have a, um, a medbay. They actually have a clone bay, which is kind of interesting. So let's just uh, use it like we would a normal laser. And let's put... Dump all of our power back into engines again. See, so sit... See, the ship's fine. I mean, it's a bit oxygen starved in the middle, but that shouldn't be too much of a worry for us. Is that an ion gun? I think that is an ion gun. Okay, it missed anyway, so it wasn't really much of a problem. And normally we haven't got the benefit of having um, asteroids taking out of that elite shield, which is a bit annoying. So there you go. So their shields are down and the whole laser is about to fire. Boom, boom, boom. Their weapons are now going offline as we speak. The shields are down. I'm take Arth Artemis offline. We haven't got enough power to actually um, sort of hone using the uh, burst laser, which is a bit annoying. Hopefully, we should get a bit more scrap after this fight. 39, not bad. So we can upgrade that and our reactor. So now we can run these two at the same time. And but we can't run all three. We need one more bit of power to be able to run all three, which is annoying. But hey. I guess we can get that a little bit later on. Okay, so we can buy uh, six fuel for 12 scrap. That is a really good deal for fuel. And I'm gonna, gonna take the offer straight up. Okay, so next sector, I've got a choice of slug controlled nebula or rock home worlds. The slugs, I don't believe are too bad of a race to, to deal with, if I'm honest. Nebulas are pretty cool, actually. So let's go to a nebula. If not, just to show you guys what a nebula is. Well, I suppose you can kind of gather what it is, just most of the map is nebula. But sometimes you can pretty much navigate your way out of it like here and just pretty much go around it. I'm not a big fan of being in nebulas. I don't like the fact that there could be enemies waiting at any spot really and you just don't know it. Okay, so there's refugees, let's hail them. So we can trade two missiles for some drone parts. I don't think that is a good trade if I'm honest because I really do not need drone parts considering I have no drones there's a store here so maybe they might actually have some decent stuff are they for 42 scrap I don't know how much that'll get me okay they have a cool breach missile actually which would be helpful if I could afford it uh, but I think what I'm actually going to do is just simply buy missiles and a little bit of fuel on top of that. So we've got plenty of fuel so we won't have to worry about keeping emergency scrap in case we need to buy some scrap from a scrap dealer. I've, I've, it's happened to me countless times when you run out of fuel. You just pretty much have to put the stress beacon on and hope someone finds you. So you arrive at the site of two slug ships in communication range that don't see you. Tap into their comm frequency. You overhear the conversation learn they're planning to raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. They pair off and you note down the target coordinates as a quest marker to your map okay so we can either go via the store i don't particularly want to go via the store considering i have no scrap to actually trade with them okay so let's nothing of interest here let's just move on to the next location so we've got plenty of fuel so we've got nothing to really worry about okay so we can sell um three drone parts for some scrap well wow, okay not a bad station, actually. Let's uh, let's get some bonus scrap for some drone parts that we don't really need. So okay, so let's go to this quest. Okay, and let's see what's here. You catch up with the two slug ships, and they're already carrying out the raid. Once one is close in combat with the pirate, the other seems to be heading for a small space cache the sp the pirate was protecting. Engage the pirate. Head for the cache. What do we do? Head for the cache. Okay. When you see for the cash, the slug captain hails you. Foolish aliens, no eye for profit. Best of luck to you, they jump off, leaving you toe-to-toe you -to -toe with the pirates. Damn. Okay. 
Not a good idea, actually. Maybe we, uh, I, I don't know. Would it, was it a good idea to do that, or was it a better idea to attack the pirates? I'm not sure. Okay. So let's take out the shields first, and then we should just be able to go ham with the hull laser. So as much as it says intruders detected, we haven't really got intruders. They're just mind controlling us, which is a bit annoying, but not the end of the world, really. They're just going to damage our engines a little bit. But considering we have four engines, we've not got that much to worry about, really. Okay, their shields are down, which means what I'm actually going to do is allow them to attack the shields, but I'm going to move this guy to, to attack empty rooms, because there's just two, twice the amount of damage to empty rooms. Wow, that was powerful. Okay, pirates are down, so it wasn't... I, I don't really know who had the last laugh, really, there. Was it me or those um, stupid slugs that were trying to lure me there in the first place? Well, not lure me there, but you know what I mean. So, da -da -da, continue. Okay, so we've got store. And if, let's see, let's buy missiles. And do we really, really do anything else? Backup batteries locked out. Okay, we haven't even got a backup battery, so. There's not much point in worrying about that. So, I think I might do. I might sort of go round the nebula a bit and try and look at all these outposts, see what's there. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of exploring in nebulas. Let's see, let's aid the civilian ship, attack the pirates. And typical day of cloaking. They've also got one missile launcher, which is the big thing I'm worried about. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is some sort of laser beam, which only is particularly effective if you have... Um, what do you call it? If you have... Um, I forgot the word is. If you have, like, no shields. Sorry, I think my mind is completely blank for some reason. I've literally had an exam today. So I've just, my, like, my mind is just sort of blank. So I've just thought, okay, I've had an exam. Let's do some YouTube stuff. And, yeah. So I apologize, I apologize if her mind kind of just goes in a bit of a blank. Okay. I can jump away at this point, but I'm not going to. Because, like, we are damaging them quite a lot, really. The only problem is they are cloaking. Which is considerably annoying. It's just slowing down our attack and giving them much more time to repair than what I would like. Okay, so their weapons are down. Their shields are on fire, which is good. I believe this may or may not finish them off. I'm not sure. Let's see. So let's... Uh... Oh, that almost finished them off. That was so annoying. So, so our weapons can't charge. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the burst laser on, considering it charge has a considerably much shorter charge time so let's just um, use the Artemis to do a bit of damage and let's do use the burst laser to finish them off hopefully Ooh, that was close they really are close to going down I'm just skeptical about uh, using loads of missiles oh, and they've just cloaked just as I was about to fire a, a volley of uh, lasers off and their shields are back up so if we miss one shot now we are kind of screwed and all of them missed. Okay, I really apologise, guys. This has taken me much longer than what I thought it would to take out the stupid fighter. Just because they have cloaks. And they keep evading my shots. Okay. Luckily, we managed to take them out, though. So we've not got much of a problem. We can contact the civilian ship. And they want to give us a guy who's a, who has a specialism in engines. It would appear, anyway. So he gives plus seven evasion. Our current guy... Gives us plus 10. So if Munis he is kind of just a spare. Is Munis he's an engine specialist? I don't really know where to put him. Because we pretty much have no more systems that can he, he could even go in besides medical. But you can't really man medical anyway. So, Okay, which guy's damaged actually? Let's send him to medical. Let's get him healed up. For um, whatever his name is. F fired him? Fired him? I don't know what his name is. But anyway, let's um let's send him to get healed up. And uh, I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna you know, I'm just gonna keep him in there. Let's just keep him there as a spare. But luckily now I believe we ha oh I haven't got enough system power. Okay, we should have if I do that. There we go. So the burst laser, you can sort of move these around in terms of what priority you want them to be destroyed in. So if say we lose two weapon bars here, it's gonna take this out first. So these systems will still stay active, which they are pretty much the most important ones. Okay, do we have enough time to sort of beat around the bush and go around here? Yeah, we do. I mean, we've got 15 fuel. I'm not too worried at the minute. Okay, blank sector. Let's go here. Let's see if we can find anything of use. Okay, enemy ship. Rebel disruptor. Okay, so let's missile their 
shields. Let's hull laser that empty room. And let's burst laser their weapons. Does that seem like a cool idea to you guys? Maybe? No? A little bit? Okay. Well, the good thing is anyway... In fact, I, should, I know what to do. I'm going to burst laser the shields instead. Because I'm hoping that will take out their shields. And once their shields are down, that means the hull laser can then do maximum damage. Okay, maybe that didn't work as well as I expected it to. I've got to be honest. I expected that to do a little bit more than that. Yeah, all my shots seem to be missing here. This is quite embarrassing. I believe the missiles are missing because they have stupid drones. So any missile I shoot just instantly gets shot down. So I'm going to take the missiles offline since I think they are just entirely useless at this point. The whole laser I'm going to redirect to shoot at the weapons instead. And yeah, we are slowly doing damage to them. Ever I do say slowly. I mean, we are struggling to get through their level 2 shields, if I'm entirely honest. Just due to the fact that they have um, stupid drones that seem to be taking us out periodically. So, if I'm honest, what I'm actually going to do now is attack their piloting bay. Because the last thing I want to do is, I've just done all this, dam all this work to try and take them out, and then they just escape. That would just be the worst thing ever. Okay, now they're wanting to give us surrender. They're giving us some missiles and some scrap. Not a bad deal, actually. We might have done better if we'd have um, killed them off, but no. I mean, I don't, I don't really want to stay and keep fighting. <laughs> okay, so they want to... We like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade, and could you... Im could we try and improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies? That doesn't seem like a fair trade for one improvement to the reactor. I'm going to have to respectfully decline. You decide, to, you decide you need what supplies you have. Okay, so the rebels are going to take this sector over next turn, so it is just the smartest idea, really, to go to the next sector. So, rock-controlled or an uncharted nebula. I feel like having a bit of fun. Let's go to the rock-controlled area. Hope this isn't a bad choice. So, they're a powerful and proud race. Pretty much like the... Um, if, if you've ever played Star Trek, like the Klingons, pretty much. I think that's what you can pretty much imagine the rocks to be like. Okay, so they've got a scout ship. But notice, guys, as you keep progressing in the game, it gets like the ships and stuff that you encounter do get progressively harder. So just sort of bear that in mind. So it is an asteroid field, so the shields are going to periodically get taken down anyway. But what, what, what I ideally want is the shields to be taken down straight away, and then the whole laser can do maximum damage. Yeah, so that whole laser did a good amount of damage. So there you go. They, those guys are trying to put out the fire. And, no, that's not a good trade, actually. Okay, engines are critical, actually. They've shot, wow. I'm going to have to send this guy to go and uh, get healed up, actually. Wow. That was a ferocious attack, what they just did there. That just uh, took out our engines. Jesus. Okay, let's see if the fire's going to be put out. Damn, I've not even got my medical bay turned on. Okay, these guys are getting healed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the... Uh, I'm going to seal the doors up. And send life support guy, go on life support guy, and weapons guy in to go and fix those engines. Because we need these engines up ASAP really, because I don't really want to stay in this asteroid fields. Level 3 shields, like I said, not too much of an issue, but I don't really want to stay in here too long. Okay, engine guy's healed up. Let's go and uh, send engine guy back to engines. So they're all working on the engines now, repairing them all up. Let's see, so let's send them all back to where they should be. Okay, so we've got some guy who's damaged. Who's damaged? Is it you? Yeah, he's got a bit of damage on him. Life support guy. See, he's, he's all healed up. And let's send him back to life support. Can we jump away? Yes. I'm not sure what we can buy from the store for 80 scrap. Hopefully something decent. Maybe something decent. I don't know. Okay, let's fix up the hole for a start. So, we've got, so a backup DNA bank. Your crew is safe in clone storage. Even if the system is broken. Okay, that's not really helpful considering we don't actually have a clone base. So we've got long range sensors, which are pretty cool actually. Or a shield charge booster. I don't really know what to go for actually because they're both pretty useful. I'm going to go for long range sensors if I'm honest. Because these, as you can see here, like possible ship detector. They give you a bit of background information about some of the locations, the locations you can go and visit. 
So I believe this is actually a bit of a weird map. So we start somewhere. I believe we started here actually. And I believe is there any one way to actually reach this place? Yeah, there is. Okay, so we are gonna have to backtrack a little bit actually. So I think what I might do is go to this place where the ship is detected and then sort of try and backtrack myself because I made a bit of a mistake. So we can buy one slave and free them to join your crew. Warning, you'll have to dismiss a crew member. You you're already full. Okay. I don't particularly want to do that, so let's just attack the slaver. Let's bring the Artemis online. Attack the shields, and let's hull laser. Okay, then I don't appear to have an empty room. So let's just hull laser their weapons. Okay, we've got someone in the shields, and typical, it had to be the shields where they actually went and attacked. Okay, all I'm doing is just opening and closing the door, which is quite annoying. Okay, so let's um, send him into med, med bay. Let's take something away from life support and let's try and heal this guy up. Okay, does he? Surely he doesn't get, give any benefits to med bay, does he? That, I mean, come on, that's impossible, right? He's like given the sort of symbol there, almost emitting like it's boosted somehow. Oh, he gives it bonus power apparently. I think that's just his, that's because of his race. It's one of his special abilities. Okay, burst lasers back online, and let's take out those st stupid weapons that seem to be bombarding our ship. Fire at will! Okay, uh, bad idea I think, keeping... Okay, our life support is off, which as you can see now it's automatically getting repaired. So this is the good thing about having a large crew actually, is it does mean that your... Um, like for example there, he is um, being healed up. Like he's healing up the life support systems, which is pretty cool. So hopefully life support should resume normally very soon. Okay, so accept their offer. Um, he's good at weapons and piloting. Surrender is not an option. I'm sorry, my friend. Well, you're not really my friend, but. Okay, hull laser. Boom. Power it down. Damn, we've got a lot of scrap actually, so that was a. Uh... Oh god, he's dying. That door is still blown out. There we go. Door's now fixed. Life support. I wondered why we, our ship wasn't getting any oxygen, and then I realised, oh. Derp. The ship hasn't got any power. Well, the uh, life support did, didn't have any power anyway. Okay, so let's send this guy to medical. Medical bay appears to be full. Let's just kick this guy out. And uh, there we go. Go and get healed up. Let's do the same with this guy. And that should be pretty much everyone healed up. Yeah, there you go. Everyone's back to green health. Let's send everyone back to where they should be. All the stations manned. Oxygen slowly climbing back up again. And let's pretty much go back to almost where we started. And we have got nine fuel. And you can pretty much see now how easy it is to burn through fuel in this game. So luckily the rebels haven't caught up with me yet, which is good. Uh, hail to him, see what's wrong. Off to pay the debt of the rock. Now, I remember this. Ha what happens here actually? If you demand the rock pay the ships and the price, then they end up blowing up and hurting you. I believe. I just remember this in personal experience. So I can offer to pay the rock's debt. You have better things to worry about. That's pretty much the best thing you can do there. Because otherwise, the rock. Sh if you pay the debt, they just bugger off and leave you. If you Say if you say um, force them to pay the full price, their ship explodes because the job was, was done poorly, I believe. Unless there's variable outcomes in this game, which I don't believe there is. So there's a distress signal promise to help. So remotely repair the targeting system. Wow, seventy scrap. Okay, let's go to the store. So that's why it's good to have improved systems, guys, because you can get stuff like that to happen. So uh, da, da, da. so we've already got fire suppression. Let's heal the ship up. Ooh, so they've got some cool weapons actually. So they've got um, some drones now. I don't know if I really want to get into drones or not. I, I do. I can afford it now. And you know, if I'm honest, let's go for drones. I've never really gotten into them that much before, so I apologise if I'm like a super noob. So it creates a single super shield barrier. So I believe this is how the um, enemies always end up getting super shields. The only problem is they do require quite a hefty amount of power. And I can't really afford power right now, if I'm honest, which is a bit annoying. So 
So let's go to the exit. Hopefully we'll be able to accumulate a bit of scrap in the uh, time it takes us to get to the next sector. Inquire about their speciality. Okay, that would have been a good exchange actually, but can't afford it. We're out of scrap. I mean, we could go there. Uh, so there's an asteroid field. Mm, not really feeling it. So we can either go to an abandoned sector or pirate controlled. I feel like abandoned sector rather than pirate controlled, if I'm honest. But I believe, guys, we have actually hit a wrapping up point for the episode. 20 minutes. I said I'd aim for no, no more than 20 minutes to sort of keep you guys from getting bored. And that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye from Pretty Plum.